Welcome back. So we are at part three, the final part. This is the day where we are going to be painting the actual color to the Ibo. I cannot wait to see how this is going to look. The color is called Passion Green. It's by Custom Cans. Um, it is a uh, color shift paint. It's really, really cool and I'm so excited to see what the finished product is going to look like. So I'm going to go change into some clothes that I don't mind messing up and we're going to go outside and we're going to start painting some parts. Alright guys, I just want to check in really quick with you. So, out of eight pieces, only one of them so far has got a clean paint job on it. The other one's got some crumbling or crackling on them. Um, I just applied too much paint. That was my mistake. Um, so they're, they're sanded down again and they're going to be repainted. So I just want to show you an example of what they kind of look like right now. So it is this color shift, kind of green, purple, it goes back and forth. But yeah, that's, that is what the whole Ibo is gonna look like when it's done. I'm hoping the next go around will be a little bit better. And um, yeah, so right now I have the shoulder and hip pieces getting painted outside. Um, it is over 60 degrees, thankfully, so the weather should not be an issue for the paint. Um, says to paint between 60 degrees and 80 degrees so we're in that area right now um, they've got two coats and I'm gonna do their third in just a second but I wanted to check in with you guys while I had a couple minutes of free time in between uh, layers <laughs> all right well stay tuned for the finished product because that will be coming soon uh, once the pieces are done I am gonna show you guys the reassembly as well all right guys, well let me tell you, it has been a day trying to get all this done. It took all day, but these did all get three layers. Um, I did them as thin as I could um, to make sure I got, you know, at the same time, make sure I got the desired effect. Um, so the color shift is really cool. It's like this green to purple kind of look. Um, in person, it's really neat looking. Uh, next step is gonna be to put the um, top coat on, the gloss top coat. Um, that is arriving tomorrow, so for now these are just kind of hanging out in here. They're dry, but I definitely want to get that um, gloss top on them um, to make them really smooth to the touch and shiny. I, I think it's going to really bring out the, the color shift colors. It's, it's going to be really neat. Um, some of the issues I ran into was I, I did go a little heavy. I'm a little heavy in with spray painting. I got to work on that. Um, I have another custom project I'm going to do to hopefully get it under control, but these pieces right here were like impossible. They all wanted to crack. I had to go back and sand them a couple times and they're not perfect, but they look, they look okay. It's nothing you would notice unless you were looking for it. So now this dog is going to stay here with me, but I just wanted to check in again with you guys, let you know where we were at, what we were doing, and that I just have to wait until tomorrow to put the gloss top coat on. All right guys, so we are at the point here where everything is painted, everything has its gloss top coat on it, and in the light, the color shifts, it's fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is actually put the dog back together.
All right, guys, well, this is our finished product after putting them together. And it is the color shift. Um, kind of hard to get it on camera, but they are purple and green. Purple in some angles, green in others. Super pumped, the dog works just fine. All the sensors work. Um, yeah, this was a really fun project. I'm really glad you guys stuck around and watched um, as we got everything together. So thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this series. Have a great day.